brain. What if I put the arms of the dummy into the coat. Come on, you little dummy. Other arm, and then we wrap the coat around the chair. Is this necessary? Does this really add to the ambiance of my video? Woo! <laughs> if there's a will, there's a way. Oh boy. Okay, time for a costume change so that you guys don't know that I'm filming these videos on the same night. Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and today the heads are back in town. Yes, we are in season two of I Should Not Be Dying Any Hair on the Planet, but yet that's what we're gonna do today. Also, a quick thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Function of Beauty. More on that later. I did enjoy thoroughly dyeing the hair, the wig that I dyed. I think last November, my how time flies. A combination of two ideas happened. A, I saw this gorgeous picture on Instagram. This hair artist dyes hair in the style of, so far I have just seen Mountain Dew cans. It's like Mountain Dew inspired hair coloring but maybe they do other sodas as well i don't know insanely talented right so i wanted to try and do that now i literally do not mean any insult at all like obviously there's no way i'm gonna be able to achieve this like lord only knows how long that person went to professional hair coloring school sometimes i'm just extremely stupidly overconfident and uh, I just like to try things. But I kind of wanted to make it even more fun and even more of a challenge. I don't know why, it's gonna be so challenging already. I wanted to use some hair dyeing gadgets to see if we can do this. That's what we're gonna be doing today. So I have heads and I have a head of hair that is not mine. So I ordered this wig from the exact same Amazon listing as last time. I think last time we were working with a 14 inch long wig. This one is 16 inches. I loved the last wig so much. Like, oh my God. The quality! I forgot, I need to wrap you in saran wrap again. Oh my god, you look like Vicky Vale, girl. Oh my god. Okay, so there's like some bang stuff and some bald spot. Can you see the bald spot? Probably not, because the camera is way over there and the head is way over here. Let's zoom in to the bald spot. Welcome to the bald spot. We've all got one. Look at that. Just like my hair. Didn't even need to buy this, honestly. Just want to show you guys the naked hair before I ruin it. The first gadget that I think I'm gonna try and dispense the gray dye in the wig with is with something called the Salon Perfect Hair Coloring Brush. I don't even know when, why, or where you would ever use this and I don't know why it requires two AA batteries not included. Oh my god. I have never been more disappointed by batteries in my life. Look, I'm literally angry I walked downstairs for this to load it up with batteries. Brand new battery, fresh from Costco, okay? That's it. It's not vibrating or anything. So, okay, I'm just, I'm just dumb. It's okay. Um, I thought that this was supposed to be like a vibrating thing because I thought maybe as you were like combing the dye into your hair, like the vibrations would, I don't know, coat the hair better. Let's be honest. It's not the stupidest thought I could have at 3 a.m. All kinds of other beauty tools vibrate and why? why I don't think we need that. Since I'm trying to dye a majority of the way gray, I thought that this would be great because they do say that it is for all over dye or root touch-ups. So there she is. She's gonna color her hair orange. It's a good look, my darling. Let's coat the head with cling wrap because we know what a mess the orange dye did last time. She's still stained. Um. <laughs> I'm choking on air. There you go, you're ready for no change doctor. Oh, this thing keeps breaking. Technical difficulties. While I'm fixing this, since it is an integral portion of our journey today, let's go ahead and hear a word from our sponsors. Roll that beautiful sponsorship footage. Huge thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. You guys, these products 
I feel like have transformed my hair and my hair care routine over the past month and a half is when I switched to this system. So you guys, Function of Beauty is a hair care service. They make shampoos and conditioners that are 100% completely customized to your personal hair needs. All you have to do is take a quick two minute survey and I'm not gonna lie, I actually had a lot of fun filling this out myself and you basically just describe your hair goals, what you're looking for um, in a shampoo and conditioner, and then Function of Beauty literally makes a customized shampoo and conditioner specifically for you. And one of the cutest things is it even has your name on it. So my bottles say Function of Bunny. When I say these products are customizable, they are 100% customizable. And you guys know that I love little things like that. Anytime that I can feel like I am inputting like my specific needs into a beauty product, I feel like it just makes me love that product that much more. So you can even pick the color that you want the products to be. So I picked uh, blue and orange because I thought Dogman would get a kick out of seeing that. You can also customize what scent you want. So I picked eucalyptus and mint. You get to pick how strong you want the scent of your shampoo to be. So you guys know, for me, I always love to have impossibly long hair. I just want to be Dr. Quinn medicine woman without doing any of the medicine woman part. It is sometimes fantastically impossible to keep hair this long healthy. So those were the things that I focused on when I picked my own custom formulation. Um, I wanted to fix split ends, deep condition, strengthen, nourish the roots, and soothe my scalp because sometimes I overdo it on the dry shampoo. They also make other treatments and products for your hair. They have hair masks. And the thing that I have really been enjoying using is the hair serum. And a tiny little bit of this goes a long way. I've even put it in Dogman's hair a couple times as well. We just put it on the very ends of our hair, just once again to kind of like nourish and fix any split end issues that we might be having. These products have no parabens, sulfates, GMOs. They are vegan and cruelty free and also of course contain no toxins. I feel like after even the first wash with the shampoo and conditioner, also PS, love the fact that they have the pump on the top of the bottle, uh, but I feel like I could just tell a difference immediately. I mean, I feel like my roots are so much more like lifted and voluminous. Um, I feel like my hair just looks like so much nicer and smoother. I don't know, what do you guys think? Be sure and check out the first link in the info box down below. If you click on that link, it will give you 20% off of your first order at Function of Beauty. And I promise if you guys test this out, you are not going to regret it. I love it. So thank you so, so much once again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out in the link down below. All right. Back to the video. I'm supposed to fill the reservoir with, oh my God, with the color. This doesn't seem messy at all or like error could go wrong here. God, that doesn't really near catastrophe. Okay, already definitely seems like a pain and I already definitely have dye on me. You really can't get that much in there. Also, this thing was $30. That's about as much as I can. I don't know why they want us to fill it up this way, but hey, I know everybody always gets annoyed when I don't read the instructions, so I'm reading them. Also, is this a good time to say that this had a one star rating on Amazon? So that is now screwed back in place. So you guys can see all the bristles and everything are even. That is actually what the batteries are for, is there's this thing inside which is called a thruster, and as you're pushing the button, it's pushing the dye up through the bristles and onto your hair. Turn the appliance off as soon as colorant becomes visible. So I guess that means we're supposed to be seeing dye coming up through these needle things. I hear it like maybe doing something any minute now. Oh my God, it's moving like so, so slowly. 
My, my thumb is getting tired. I feel like I could have had this whole head of hair colored by now. It literally doesn't even look like it's getting any closer. So as I've been pushing this thing, it's almost like completely squished up against on one side, but then on the bottom side here, there's still like a huge gap. All of them a Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Okay, you know what? I am gonna take this off and see. Is it moving? I'm gonna help it along here. I'm gonna squish it with the phalanges. I think that is another problem is um, this thing's terrible. I'm gonna try and just like load more dye into it because I feel like if I can't get it to squeeze out through the brush at all, I'll just be able to take a traditional dye brush and like scoop the dye out so I won't be wasting any. But I'm just gonna squirt a lot more product in here because I kind of feel like that is the big problem is trying to load it through this tiny little cap, which I don't understand why the instructions tell you to do that. That is obviously filled a lot more. Oh my God, now it's like squirting out. Now it like won't go back together. I don't know how many different ways I can say I don't recommend this, but we're gonna give it a go because some dye is in there. Maybe I overloaded it now. I don't know. Let's give this a go. I don't know if this is good or bad. I'm gonna have to go with bad. <laughs> Maybe if I was doing highlights or something? Yeah, I feel like the brush bristles are also somehow like kind of tank. I cannot remember if this was 20, 30 or 40 dollars. However much it is, don't waste your money on this. So I got this from Yes Style, where all amazing K-beauty items come from. And um, they had a couple of different color dyeing shampoo. I think it just temporarily deposits color. I don't know how many washes it will last for. Um, there's just a whole lot of stuff that I unfortunately cannot read on the back of the bottle. But I think that they had like purple, pink, gray. I knew that I wanted to do this like silver slash gray haired project. So I went with the gray one. I still have this hair bang piece from the last hair dyeing video that we didn't use. So uh, I'm gonna try and dye this. I should potentially be able to clip this into the front of this wig, which would maybe be fun to have like gray bangs to go along with this. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, how similar the color is gonna be to this color. I have no freaking idea. All right, hello. Welcome to the shadowy lair of the shower. The lighting is not fantastic but we'll take what we can get. I also have Halloween Bucket to help us with our journey today because I don't know how bad this is gonna stay. This also has like a cap, just like a screw off cap. There's like no clean and easy way to dispense this. Ew, oh my God. So that is what we're working with. Did I do way too much? So I'm curious to see how much color this product is going to dye this bang piece because this is supposed to be like, I forget what the technical name is, like 613 or something. It's supposed to be like completely bleached, like basically the kind of hair that you can buy to dye. It goes on super duper dark, but then I'm sure you guys can see as I'm like working it in, it's getting much, much lighter. I'm having to use a lot of this product so I can't imagine how much you'd have to use if you were somebody like me and you had like ridiculously long hair. And I wish I knew how long to leave it on for. I think I'm just gonna set a timer for like 20 minutes or something. I'm gonna leave this sitting here and we'll come back to it. Move over head. There's a new head in town. All right, while we're waiting for the bang piece to absorb the dye for 20 minutes, I thought we could go ahead and test the next two hair dyeing. These aren't really gadgets, they're just types of hair dye. We're just getting real weird over here because I'm already using all the clips and everything on the other head. You see, we're mid project and we're starting another project. That's how we do things on the swamp. So I have another little clip in bang piece. This is also meant to be 100% human hair. It was more expensive, I think, than the 
other clip and bang we're dying in the bathroom over there but this one feels like really not as good of a quality so it kind of makes me question if it is a hundred percent human hair i feel like sometimes you get stuff sold to you on amazon that is human hair blend but they might have been lying in a way this is kind of like a hair gadget as well because you're supposed to be able to pin this on top of your head if you have like some hair loss like some bald patchiness it's supposed to really kind of conceal that as well but this does not feel as high a quality is what i was trying to say so very next gadget that we're gonna test is by Cara Color. It's called Color Me Clean Purple Dry Shampoo. So once again, I think they did have a couple of wild colors of this product. I think I found this at Ulta. Washes out after one shampoo. It of course is otherwise supposed to perform like a dry shampoo. And also like, I guess if you have really awesome colored hair like this, they're saying that you can spray this in to conceal roots. Um, maybe if your hair has grown out and the rest of it is purple, but it's another color at the top. So I thought we would just give it a go. Oh, they said hold it 10 to 12 inches from head. Is that 10 to 12 inches or is that further? Ew, I feel like I need a face mask. You guys. Let me bring it in over the shoulder here um, cause I'm really not impressed. Like it has a smell to it. And so far it's just kind of making the hair look dirty and patchy. Can you guys even see that? I mean, that's definitely closer than 10 inches, but I feel like anything further than that, like the actual appropriate 10 to 12 inches, like you'd have to spray the whole damn bottle. Ew, oh my God, okay. The more I spray it, the more it has like a root beer scent to it. Oh my God. See, and that, that right there is kind of what I was worried about because if any of you guys have ever used like temporary hair chalk or comb in color or anything like that, maybe for like Halloween, that's typically what I associate these like one day rinse out hair products with. But the unfortunate thing is, is that it always rubs off and it will stain whatever you're wearing. I am really, I don't know you guys, I'm not feeling it. Do you see how much I have to spray? I'm afraid for my lungs. Woo, maybe we should test the next hair gadget though. I feel like I can actually use this on my hair as well. It's called a Hair Shark Pro Back Comber. So somehow they say that this thing is loaded with positive and negative ions. Which, I mean, it just, I, I don't know, it does have a metal tip now that I'm looking at it. But this doesn't vibrate, no batteries, nothing. It's like this side is like teeth going in two different directions. And then this side sort of looks like bristles that are the same that we just dealt with with the hair dyeing brush. So it says unique fins create a positive negative charge as you brush your hair so that it's glossy and full of volume. Then these are supposed to smooth your hair, these other types of bristles. Do you see what I see? You guys, this should maybe be products called like don't, just don't. I might retest this on my hair. What am I? <laughs> What am I doing here? Is it is it more volume? Does that side somehow look better? I don't know. Okay, that's the hair sharked side and that's the unhair sharked side. I do oddly feel like it has somehow created a little bit of volume. Overall combing it through definitely did disperse the purple dry shampoo a little bit better. But I mean, look at that. That right there is unfortunately what makes it a no for me. I don't see it say anything about like sealing it in with hairspray or something. It just says let dry completely. I mean, I did spray this in like 10 minutes ago. It feels dry. It just feels much more thick and waxy and textured than regular dry shampoo. I mean, I feel like normally when you spray in dry shampoo, it's freaking dry. 
and it doesn't like rub off everywhere. Unfortunately, I think that that's a no from me, dog. Uh, up next, the next purple item. Um, I got this from Sally's and it's by the brand BTZ Beyond the Zone Rock On uh, Leave-In Semi-Permanent Hairspray. They say that it's vegan. This is called Purple Prelude. Spray on clean towel dried hair. For best results, spray two inches um comb through to ensure product is evenly distributed do not rinse so i'm gonna go wet the hair just slightly not too damp i don't think two inches i'm gonna shake it <gasps> oh my god okay i should set a towel down little dye splatters everywhere okay that looks kind of cool though. I just wanted to know like how funky and interesting just spraying dye on your head would look. That looks so funky. So they say if you want it more vibrant to just spray more. I forgot there's no there's no sock down there so I just sprayed dye right on the head. I'm sure you appreciate that. Now what I'm going to do very quickly is put the hair dryer on this because I'm not even gonna obviously like bother touching it right now when it's like wet because obviously it will stain and rub off. So I'm gonna dry it and then see if it has like that thicker waxier feeling again. This I think also says that it comes out. Sure does have a lot of warning. It's kind of scary now that I stop and pause and read it. Let's dry the hair and see what happens. Oh my God. Okay, you guys, I know what I'm about to say might be kind of crazy, but I love how this turned out. It doesn't really look super messy to me. I don't know. I mean, I really like like grungy, kind of like home baked looks. So um, I really, really do like this. I feel like if I would have sprayed it more, obviously I could have dyed it much easier. Parts of the hair dye accepted more of a blue shade and then part of them are purple. It just feels like dyed hair now, like no residue coming off. But why I wanted to try both of these is I'm about to go wash the gray bang piece out. I'm actually going to use the lovely sponsor of today's video. I'm going to use the Function of Beauty shampoo. I'm sure a lot of you guys want to know, which is how temporary are these temporary sprays? So that is what we are going to go find out now, boys and ghouls. This is what the bang piece looks like now. And definitely I did leave it on a little bit longer than 20 minutes. Very sudsy, but the runoff water actually looks clear. It's kind of interesting. All right, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Hair in a bucket, bucket of hair. I feel like it's very dangerous to be using this camera with all this water going everywhere. Um, here is my lovely Function of Beauty shampoo. Oh, look at that. Okay, color is coming off of somewhere. The suds are slightly purple, almost like if you're using a um, brightening purple shampoo. Okay, so I'm going to finish washing all the shampoo out and then I'm going to blow dry both of these pieces of hair and show you what the color and what the results look like on dry hair. All right, you guys, the results are in and they're shocking. So, this is what the gray color depositing shampoo did. What do we think about this color? I just asked Dogman what color he thought it was and he literally said blonde. I think compared to like blonde blonde, it does look kind of silver. I definitely think more silver than gray. It's not as effective as dye, but I don't know. The results for this stuff is shocking. See, that's why I don't ever try this stuff on my actual hair, you guys, because if I actually do any of this stuff to my hair, 911 emergency, there's no fixing it. I'm trying to decide which side is which for the side that I colored and the side that I put the dry shampoo in. Either way, the hair is stained after one pretty vigorous wash. I do think that this is the side that I put the dry shampoo in 
and then this is the side that I put the dye in or vice versa. Welcome to day two hair dyeing adventure time. This is where we're at right now. She is looking real great. You guys, I have a confession to make. I was so exhausted last night slash uh, this room does not have an openable window in it, so I think just sitting here with all the dye and I was delirious, so I just got up and I left last night and I didn't even rinse the dye out of the wig, you guys. So today, fresh of mind and body, um, I, I came back to a wig that had dye sitting in it for like 14, 15, 18 hours. I just rinsed out the gray dye. Doesn't this kind of look like almost a little bit greenish. I am gonna just take this wig and instead of dyeing it all over with the Arctic Fox Sterling Gray, I'm gonna go ahead and dye it with the gray shampoo so that it can match this bang piece, hopefully. You know, the ends is what is all like green and yellow for the Mountain Dew thing. So um, I was like, wait, how am I gonna dye all the top part of the wig gray, but leave the bottom of the part blonde? So um, here's what I did with the bottom part of the hair. I wrapped it up in saran wrap and then I wrapped the saran wrap in the tin foil. So hopefully I'm just gonna be dyeing the top of the wig. Oops, um, this is turning out great so far. This looks grotesque. I can't wait to dry it. Also, I have a Dyson fan going because the fumes, my last couple of brain cells, um, but I do just want to quickly point out, I think the foil and saran wrap, it worked. I am using this thing. Uh, you guys remember my little head that you put a hair dryer in and it dries the wig? So I'm gonna dry it and then we're gonna see what we can do with this. I have some updates for you guys. This turned out a little bit nightmarish using the gray shampoo all over the wig. I'm not really thrilled with how this turned out. I also actually left it on for about an hour. I was really trying to get the hair to absorb all the color that I could. I was basically doing that because I'm kind of concerned that all the dye that I left in this brush, the gray dye, maybe all of this went to waste. But I'm gonna see what I can do and try and just dye it gray. Um, I have mixing bowls and brushes. Then I actually have an update about these little bang sections. So I did flat iron this one. Yeah, the color obviously doesn't really match either the gray bangs with the gray hair now. So I did flat iron this. I think it did zap a little bit of the gray coloring shampoo out of there. But pleasant and unpleasant update about this little thing. Turns out I was able to flat iron and style it. So this other bang piece that we dried purple, it actually did turn out to be 100% hair. But I also realized I paid like $60 for this hair topper gadget. I definitely recommend this $10 one over this $60 one. You really don't get that much more hair with this guy for like six times the price. So wish me luck. I feel like the dye is making me sick. Do I sound stupid now? I feel like this hair is laughing at me. It's honestly been a rough hour and a half trying to dye this hair. The last wig we dyed, I feel like, granted, I was trying to just dye it one color. I literally don't know what's going on. I don't know if it is because I put the coloring shampoo on there. So now it's just sort of like doing weird stuff to the hair. Um, like in the front, it looks like it's gonna be a very dark gray. In other other parts it looks kind of purple it looks kind of blue I'm not sure if it's coming through on camera like some parts of the hair basically what I'm trying to say is I brush the color right on it but it still looks like it's gonna be blonde I don't know I am going to let it sit for approximately an hour, really try and let all the color soak in. I'm also gonna put a hair dryer on it to try and get, you know, like a little extra heat to maybe let the dye permeate the hair a little bit better. All right, you guys, back again, hours later. Did you miss me? For whatever reason, it is not 
accepting this dye in a uniform fashion. Some of the strands actually picked the dye up, like right here. I hope that you guys are gonna be able to see. It's like greenish mixed in with the silver. It is the weirdest thing. I mean, I think it's less noticeable, like the further away that I get. How about that even dye job, by the way? Um, if there's anything that this video should teach you, it is please go to a professional hairdresser. We can finally test the last hair dyeing gadget. Like I said, I got two different Arctic Fox hair dye colors to create the Mountain Dew green and yellow down here. So we have Iris Green and Neon Moon. And I thought that it would be fun to brush some of those colors in, like in strips. But I also thought, what would happen if we blend this darker green, so this is iris green, this is the neon moon yellow, what cool interesting shade of green could we make if we mix those two colors together? So they have this thing on Amazon which is called the professional color mixer, which I guess basically means like if you're too lazy to use your hands and just stir the dye up, you can have this little baby mixing bowl. And it actually comes with two bowls in it which are stuck together. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you guys to order this product with caution because this is the second one that I had to order from Amazon. The first one I ordered did not come with this special USB cord that you have to have. To get it to work you actually have to plug it into the wall and leave it plugged in while you use it. Is this 1980? I don't know. So it also comes with all of these little um, mixers. So we're gonna squirt in green and then we're gonna squirt in yellow. I'm not measuring. Why would I do that? That would be moderately professional of me. Then we're gonna stick this in there. So the mixer actually does go all the way in the bottom. I was scared maybe like I didn't have enough dye in there or something. Uh, I'm hoping that you guys are gonna be able to see this. Kind of, we're attached to the wall, the cord's only so long. Okay, there we go. It is mixing up and it's on an automatic 60 second timer. So we'll be able to see what really cool color we get. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, okay, so hopefully you guys can see the lighting is really bad over here. I tried to move the lamps as best I could, um, but this is actually a really cool color. And uh, just because we haven't gotten to use it yet, and I'm kind of curious, um, like if we can extend our dye and make more dye, because I'm scared we're gonna run out. Like this wig was the same density as the last one I bought, but I swear it seems like there's more hair here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this uh, developer, no, diluter, sorry. Um, and we will see what color we get there after a minute and I will check back in with you guys. This also made a really pretty color. Looks kind of similar, but different. Isn't that like a genius thing to say? <laughs> okay, so um, I did swatches. This is once again the original iris green, the original neon moon, the first mixture that we made by mixing the two shades together, and then this is the shade up here that we just created by adding this product, which is called the diluter. Overall, this thing has got to be one of my favorite gadgets we've tested today. Now, I am obviously like just kind of on my own time right now where I can just like play around with little tools and gadgets. I mean, if you're a professional hairstylist and you just so happen to be watching this video, like let me know. Do you think that this is realistically helpful? Do you think it saves time, mixes color any better than just mixing it with your hands? I don't know if like 60 seconds is like a long time to wait. Like, when you're sitting there with a client, like I have a lot of fun with it. So I think I'm gonna keep using it. And oh my God, I forgot. I have foil, not hairdresser foil, but kitchen foil. Like I've never done anything like this in my life. Wish me luck. I feel like these are like really big sheets of kitchen foil. I don't know why I think I can do things. No idea. I will see you guys in 12 years when approximately I have completed this project. And we're back. 
Uh, many, many hours later. I'm gonna have to say though, foil is helpful for hair dyeing. Who would have ever thought? I ended up overlaying some color randomly, like the green and yellow, over where I already placed the um, gray silver dye just in case there are still some patchy parts where the like raw wig is showing through. The bottoms are all rolled up and I kind of tried to do like a blended out tie dye effect. Like I started to brush the darker color and then I would brush some of the mixed color and then I would just brush some of the yellow color on the ends. I'm gonna let it sit for probably like 30 minutes or so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry it and I'll be back. Time for the big reveal. Oh my gosh. Um, I actually love how this turned out. It is messy, it is patchy, it is very different, <laughs> but I am really glad I decided to just put a dash of green dye up here on the scalp. I am really happy with the way that the ends turned out. Um, I am kind of shocked that it seems to be like actually kind of blended. I don't know. I was really trying to go for, like I said, a more like patchy look where it would be like really dark green in some places and then like super yellow in other places. Um, I am going to do a final, final reveal for you guys tomorrow. It looks like my wig already has dandruff. How could this have happened to me. Anyway, you guys, I know that I said I was gonna take the wig outside and show it to you guys in the sun, but guess what? It's January, it's bleak, it's depressing. There is no sun in the sky and it's been that way for about three days. So um, what I decided to do is go ahead and give it some nice, beautiful, luxurious curls because I kind of thought that that would um, maybe show off more of the color and dimension. And I swear I see some yellow in here, but I don't really know that it is reading on camera too well. I actually really like how this turned out. Does it look anything like the picture? No. Did we give it a good try? Yes, we did. I also maybe should have looked at the picture for reference while I was doing it. I just did it like all from how I remembered the wig looking versus like actually looking at, hey, let's be honest, it wouldn't matter anyway. You know, I am not a hair dyeing professional here, but I gave it my all, I did my best and I really like the way that it turned out. You know what? I should just try and plop it on my head. Ta-da. <laughs> Oh my God, this lace is so long. Okay, that maybe <laughs> looks a little weird. Maybe it's a t-shirt. Maybe it's lack of makeup. Maybe it's that it's not sitting very well. You guys, I love green hair, but I don't think I have any business having green hair. I definitely have worn green wigs successfully in the past. Obviously, I think it needs a little bit more styling as well. I think we can make it work somehow, some way, but that's it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this biopic video that I put out today. I think we had like, I don't even know, like six hours of footage or something. So let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed today's video. Would you like to see me do more wig dyeing and styling videos? Also a huge thank you once again to today's video sponsor, which is Function of Beauty. Be sure and check them out in the info box down below. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!